about a proposal that would change who responds to your medical emergency. Earlier this month, Colorado Springs fire chief and mayor proposed putting the city in charge of ambulance service and ending a decades long contract with AMR. Tonight we're hearing from AMR about the potential change. Here's 11 News anchor Grace Kramer. Response times and operating costs. That's what the debate over who will operate ambulance service here in Colorado Springs boils down to. AMR tells us that the fire department's projected cost for overall operations, if the city takes over, and the cost to you, the rider, are not adding up. We've been in this city, this community, as AMR for 32 years. Uh, and we've been doing billing and collection for 32 years in this community. Uh, we know what the collection rates are. We know how they work, and the city's off. CSFD says that they will have access to federal money that AMR does not. We have um, additionally available money that is only for public ambulance service that's provided through the state, through the federal government, to make up for Medicaid differences and things like that. Uh, that potentially for us is another eight to nine million dollars a year. According to data presented to city council members, AMR has responded to more than 33,000 calls late in the last three years. When you are having the critical emergency, whether it's you, you stop breathing, you're having a heart attack, that's where seconds in minutes matter. AMR tells us that the data collected does not accurately show AMR's dedication to the community, adding in that the COVID-19 pandemic played a huge role in slowing down staffing. We're not shying away from the response times, right? They were what they were. Uh, we brought people in from out of state. We paid a lot of money for people to come in, so we, we just didn't sit around and do nothing about our short staff. Reporting in Colorado Springs, Grace Kramer, KKTV 11 News. AMR's contract ends April of 2025. City Council will have to vote to approve the proposal twice. The first vote is coming up on June 11th.